Merry Christmas train friends. Welcome to my 2022 Christmas train haul. It's an awfully big one and it's the start of the eight day train video bonanza. 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 That goes from now until New Year's Day. So let's check out what we got here. It's gonna be fun to add this to the channel. Thanks for watching PGH Train Fanatic. My name is Nick and I hope you had a great Christmas. Got something from Santa, hopefully something train related. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Without making you wait any longer, let's check this stuff out. Alright, so before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you to all my family members and friends that got me these gifts, especially my very understanding and beautiful wife. Thank you so much. I can't thank you guys enough. So as you can see, right dead center is the main attraction. It is the Lionel Vision Line, Pennsylvania Railroad, Custom Run, Class A. And it's one of 50. It was a Mr. Muffins exclusive. And I did crack it open early so I could get that first video up. If you missed that video, I'll put the link in the description and at the top of the page. It just did a first run of this engine so far. I will be doing a full review of this locomotive for one of the days of the Bonanza videos. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be really cool. And if you missed the, the first run of this video, you can go back and check that out. But so far, it's been great and it just looks awesome you can see the color of it actually is isn't quite as green looking without it being on the way out i think the scenery reflects off the paint a little bit makes it look even more green because some people were complaining about that so all right so moving along up to the top row we'll start at the top got this this is a gift from my buddy rtt real toy trains and uh thank you buddy this Woodside Reefer is awesome, and it's from MTH. You can see there's the item number on it, and I, I, I just love Woodside Reefer, so this was a perfect gift. Thanks again. You can check out his channel. We'll put the link in the description for for uh, Brian as well. And then here's another Woodside Reefer up top. This is the uh, Borden's Milk Reefer, and that has some really neat graphics on it. And here's the item number on that one these came out recently and um, I actually found this one on eBay for a pr pretty good price it was actually below MSRP so I got lucky on that one and then here we have the Lionel Vision Line horse car and I'm really excited to check this thing out actually I was going to pass on this and um, my wife said to find a train car that she would like and I knew she liked horses so I was like all right I'll get the horse car so there's the item number on that one we are going to review this car and run it on the channel probably for one of the, the Bonanza videos so stay tuned for that it's gonna be fun and a cool video to see all right next up is the trippy trolley and I got this from my mother-in-law is one of my Christmas gifts and this thing is too rad and I can't wait to check this out and uh, has all the color changing LEDs on it. We're going to run it and review it on the channel as well. Here's the the item number on that one. You can see it says uh, it's, it's uh, bumper controlled and has operating LED lights and uh, these things are super neat. Really neat and funky. <laughs> all right. Next up is one of my most anticipated items from uh, the, I think it was the 2021 catalog, volume one, is the Lionel Hobo Sounds boxcar. And this thing came literally the day before Christmas and I was stoked to add it to the haul. And here's the um, 
item number on the end that does play hobo sounds and I can't wait to put this on the layout and hear it in person. It's gonna be really cool. Uh, next up was a train car that I kind of stumbled upon. Thought it would be cool to add to the collection. It's a Lionel stock car and it's the Polar Railroad. And it says it has reindeer figures on the end here. And there it is, reindeer figures inside the car. So I thought it was a, a great deal. And uh, yep, picked that one up. Uh, the next car that I got, I actually found at TCA show that I went to, um, it was a couple weeks ago. And uh, this is apparently a very rare car. This is also a Woodside reefer and it's Heinz. And obviously you guys know me with my, my Heinz factory. If you're not familiar with that on my channel, I do have a Heinz plant on the layout. So this is perfect for, for that. And uh, you can see here, it was the, uh, the lots 2014 convention car. All right. So the next item up is this three pack of the Lionel vision line stock cars. These are the ones that have the pig sounds inside of them and pretty exciting and can't wait to check these out as well. And here's a look at one of the cars. You can see it's the, got that cool pig palace logo on the side of it. So look for a video of these coming soon as well. All right. And here's a, another cool gift from one of my good train buds. This one is from Darren. YouTube channel is Firehawk1218 and uh, we found these for each other at York. This is a, a tin sign and we decided that it was going to be our Christmas gifts for each other. So thanks again, Darren. This thing's going to be awesome in the train room. I still haven't hung it up, but we're going to find the perfect spot for it. And it's the really nice 4014. Love it. Thanks, buddy. And then this is a car that I also found at the, uh, Pittsburgh Division TCA show. This is the K-Line Doggy Dinner Car. I had to have it because I'm a dog lover. So, Cole Woodside Reefer, another one. <laughs> Here's the end of it. The Doggy Dinner Woodside Reefer. And then here is another K-Line Woodside Reefer. This one is Libby's Food Products. This one I picked up off of up uh, this this one I picked up off of eBay. Uh, just super cheap and it was brand new so I couldn't pass up that deal and it was even less than that so there that one is really nice and here is the Woodland Scenics the depot this is a really neat small train station it looks like this piece down here popped off and I'll just have to super glue that on it's no big deal but this was a gift from my mom um, almost every year it's kind of a tradition. My mom buys me at least one train item, but this year I got a few. So this is the first one and uh, we're going to find a cool spot for that on the layout. And here's another gift that I got for my mom. This one is the Woodland Scenics Corner Emporium with the barbershop on the first floor and the billiards on the second floor. And I knew she'd love that because uh, she's uh, a very good pole player. She's she was on a national championship team when she was a little younger and she still plays to this day um, in, in leagues. So I knew that as soon as I saw she would see that, she'd be like, oh yeah, I gotta get that for you. So very cool and can't wait to find a spot for this on the layout as well. Uh, this one is a Woodland Scenics Windmill. And this one, there's actually two versions of this, which I didn't realize. This one is the, like the newer looking one. And there's another one that uh, was weathered. They're identical. The other one is obviously just uh, a little dirtier and rusted looking. But this one came from my mother-in-law and it's uh, really cool. Can't wait to find the spot for that on the layout as well. That's going to be sweet. All right. So here is the Menards Rocket Diner. And I actually do have it plugged in so you can see the lights working on it. And these things are really cool. You can see it has the, the F3 there that they've turned into a diner with the lights and the, the LED sign. This is really cool. This was um, bought for me also by my mom. She <laughs> texted me the one day and she said she was at Menards and yeah, 
she actually sent me a video of the the train section. She says, is there anything here that you want for for Christmas? And I said, uh, the diner is pretty nice. So she picked it up for me. Can't wait to uh, find a spot for this in the layout as well. So you guys are probably wondering where I'm going to put all these things. So stay tuned to the channel to find that out. But this is really neat. And if you didn't get one of these, you may want to consider it. These are really cool. All right, so we're getting down to the last few items here. These are a bunch of cars that I uh, got from um, 3000 Toys. They sell a lot of die-cast toys. And here's the Ecto-1. Really neat. This one cracks me up. This is the, the Monte Carlo from Ace Ventura. And you can see it's like a piece of junk. Hoopty. <laughs> that thing is so cool. Can't wait to find a spot for that on the layout as well. And then here's the the Eleanor from Gone in 60 Seconds. You guys know I'm a Mustang fan, so that was a must-have. And uh, speaking of Mustangs, here's another one. Here's the John Wick 1969 Boss 429. Really cool. And then this is a, a fun classic. It's the DeLorean Time Machine from Back to the Future. Uh, this, these are a, a bit larger than O scale, but um, I think it'll be cool to kind of use it as a prop in some, some videos and things, or maybe try to put some train wheels on it and push it with a steam engine like in the movie. That'd be pretty cool too. And then um, here's another car that's just a bit larger than O scale but it's really cool it's the Knight Rider from Kit and I grew up in that era when Knight Rider was a big deal and I always loved Trans Ams because of that show so it's kind of cool to finally have a little model of the car It'd be neat to get the the red light to light up inside of there that'd be awesome uh, this one is just cracks me up because this movie is hilarious it's Christine it's the 1958 Plymouth Fury and it's the evil version with the the blacked out windows whenever Christine was was being evil. <laughs> so this is a, a really cool car to add to the layout. It'd be neat to put some some uh, LEDs in the lights, make that thing light up and look at look even spookier. <laughs> All right, and then uh, the last few items are some uh, figures, and these are actually benches. Uh, these are going to go on my Kennywood layout, which. I need to do a, a, an update on that layout, so look for that upcoming soon, possibly in the video bonanza. And then here's some model power um, unpainted animals. So this is going to be a fun little project to paint some animals. And I had to get these because there was horses in them since we got the horse car. And then since we were on that kick with the horse car and the pig car, I had to get some hogs. These ones are from lifelike trains. I'm thinking of taking a few of these and repainting them like a uh, skin tone color with a little pink nose so that there's some variety but had to have some hog figures to go with our hog cars. <laughs> so uh, that pretty much does it for uh, all the train items. So now we'll just do a quick lap or two with the Polar Express. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Again, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thanks so much for watching. All aboard! This is the Polar Express!